Hey, black rain. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, black rain. Ooh, yeah. Hey, ha. Hey, black rain. Yeah. Hey, black rain. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Who you think is the best in the league? Black rain. Who you think these people tryna see? Black rain. Pros online still in my place. For what? Who you think these people wanna be? Black rain. Who you know with a drift like this? Black rain. Who you know with a drift like that? Black rain. Who you know with a stick like this? Black rain. Hey, who you know with a stick like that? You reading ebooks, but this is a pro read. Pro read. Sometimes I do this with no read. They said it on sticky. They said I'm too OP. OP. I can be down 14, come back in the fourth, win the game out with no lead. No lead. If you ain't got 200 or better, I'm sending that back. Don't you? You even approach me, don't need to go pro cause you already know me. Yo, ay, hey, 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 black rain, oh, yeah, hey, hey, black rain, yeah. All right, man, back on the next genio. We back at it. Um, excuse me, 40 and 5 is my record. Y'all remember when they said, Rain, you can't do that shit on next gen that you're doing on current gen. Y'all remember that? Now those people no longer comment down below in the comments. Now those people no longer are like watching the videos because there is no disappointment for them. People like to watch. Let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. Just, just hear me out. When you're a YouTuber and you're known for winning, you know what I'm saying? People want to come to your channel. Oops. People come to your channel to see what? Losses. You know what I'm saying? People always tell me, yo, Rain, um, it's cool to see you win and everything, but I, I I, especially come whenever I see you lost. So when people see that I put Black Rain get destroyed in the in the in the um in the title, they be like, yo, why would you spoil the video like that? Don't spoil it. That's because of you. You watch it every single day. But when I post that right there, that's me telling the haters, hey. Come watch this shit. You know what I'm saying? Come come see what it takes to beat me. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what people want to see. You know what I'm saying? Like Floyd Mayweather. When people hear Floyd Mayweather's boxing or, you know what I'm saying? When, when they see his boxing, oh, he's 40 and 4. Who's he fighting? Such and such. Oh, he's about to be 45 or no. I don't really care to watch that shit. But when it's a tough fighter or somebody, or if they was to post, Floyd Mayweather got destroyed. You know how many people would actually watch? You know how many views that would do? Rather than Floyd's wins? The loss is going to be more entertaining to the people. And then that just gives them something to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So when it was up in the air that, yo, we don't think Rain can play. We don't think Rain can play next gen. That's what the talk was about. That's always what the talk is about. You know what I'm saying? Just like right now, the talk is about, oh, I don't think Rain can play next gen much. I don't think Rain can compete with the next gen. You know what I'm saying? The next gen pros. I don't think Rain can compete with them. That, of course, that's what the talk going to be about. Of course it is. You know what I'm saying? Until I do it, then it's like, damn. We have nothing else to talk about. What's the next challenge? You know what I'm saying? Just like Form, man. They, they used to get on me and Form all the time because we were strictly regs players. And then they then they got on us. Y'all cannot play mud. Y'all are just regs players. Y'all ain't with the mud shit. Now me and Form play mud. And it's like, it's, it's nothing to talk about no more. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing to talk about. Form's playing the pros that they, they swear we couldn't play against. And Form's doing amazing. You know what I'm saying? So, I just sometimes don't be understanding, like, yo, if you like the YouTuber, if you, you know what I'm saying? If the YouTuber is cool and whatnot, just enjoy the content, man. Don't be worrying about who they can beat and who they can't beat. Do you like the content? Okay, cool. And sit back, enjoy the content. If you don't like the YouTuber for the content they're putting out, just don't watch it. But you ain't got to come and be a full-blown hater. You feel me? You ain't got to come over here and just... Try to talk your shit every chance you get. Man, he ain't watching that shit. He ain't playing the pros. Okay, cool. Don't watch it. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to watch it. Nobody told you to come by and watch it. You know what I'm saying? But if you are going to watch it, at least, you know what I'm saying, be respectful to the YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? If, if you're going to watch it, ooh, if you're going to watch it, watch it with some respect, man. Don't just be, don't, I, I got people that just literally come to the videos, literally just come over here to drop a, a hating ass comment down below and they'll leave out. And I'd be like, bro, like, what was your point in even, what was your point in even coming to, to comment? Like, like y'all know when, whenever y'all do post a comment, I can see like all the comments that you posted on the channel. You know what I'm saying? So if you was, it's, so, so if you a hater, I'm a, I, when, when you comment, I can click on your name and I can see all the times you was hating. And if I just read all the comments, you hating there, you was hating there, I'm gonna just go ahead and block you. And what I like about YouTube, this is what I love about YouTube. 
hear this out. I can block you from commenting, but you can still watch the video. <laughs> I can block you from commenting, but you can still watch the video. So I'll still get credit for your view, trust me. I'll still, credit, I'll still get credit for your view, but you just will not be able to comment. You know what I'm saying? So all that hating you was doing and you know what I'm saying? Thought you was being slick and commenting. Guess what? Now you can't even comment no more. Now you shit, now you shit done. You know what I'm saying? And, and now you can't comment and be like, yo, Ray, I'm sorry, bro. Would, nope, you can't even comment no more. Your shit just done. Your shit is just done, man. But man, 40 and 5, um, I want to speak on this this comment. This guy hit me up on uh on YouTube. Or not on YouTube, but on Snapchat. He said, hey man, it's crazy, man. I own my own trucking company, got two drivers, have an older brother in the NFL, and when I watch your videos, it's crazy how mad videos it is more about life with you shit crazy man you're a real one be older than me so you're a good person to look up to in real life and honestly man that's what i try to drive my channel about man my channel is like podcast madden you know what i'm saying if you haven't watched my channel before what we do over here is we play madden i'm a pretty good madden player i'm an okay madden player i'm not the best madden player ever i don't want to take that title or try to claim that title but i do play at a high level, 40 wins, 5 losses and rigs, playing random teams. Um, but I like to talk about everyday life issues. So if you go back to, I think I'm on with, with this, this would be like number 27 with this team. Not with this team, but like number 27 of playing with the teams. If you go back and watch all the videos, I'll be talking about something very important or life lesson or something about me in those videos. So if you go back and just watch those videos, you're going to learn a lot about me. You're going to learn a lot about life that I've learned so far up, from my, up to my 27 years. And you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it just useful information to live with in the real world. Head over to your App Store or Google Play and download the best way to play fantasy, prize picks. Use code RAIN4 to get a 100% discount code up to $100. It's pretty simple. Pick two or more players from the board. Choose over or under their projected stat line for the day and choose which way you want to profit. With flex play, you can miss one and still win, or you can go big with the power play to win more. Prize Picks offers every sport you can think of from NBA to NFL to even college sports as well. Prize Picks has a ton of stats to choose from, including three-pointers made, rebounds, assists, even the touchdowns, RBIs, and home runs. Prize Picks also allows mixed sports entries. Like you can take the over on LeBron's points and the under on Mahomes' touchdowns, on the same entry. There's also many celebrities who use and partner with prize picks, including Famous Los, Matt Ryan, John Collins, and many more. In 2021, prize picks had 300,000 new members and paid out over $130 million in prizes. With the easy withdrawal system, prize picks is the best legal way to play player props. Once again, go to your App Store or Google Play and download prize picks. And don't forget to use code RAIN4 for a 100% deposit match up to $100. Like I got a homie, man. I got he's not even my homie, he's my cousin. Um, but we hang out like and we party like on a homie type level type thing. Um, I don't really hang out with my cousins like that. Um But he hit me up one day, he was like, man, because I, I went to uh Texas Longhorn one day and I got this fat steak. I'm talking about this steak with like twenty-eight ounces or something, which is almost two pounds, a pound and sixteen ounces. Um no, not two pounds. What am I thinking? Um, yeah, a pound is 16 ounces. Yeah. Yeah, a pound is 16 ounces. Yeah, a pound is 16 ounces. So two would be 30, 32. So it was 28, almost two pounds. And um, I got a salad with asparagus. And he said, uh, he hit me up and said, bro, how do you eat like that? He, he said, that's not healthy. He said, how do you eat like that and not gain weight like and not get fat and i said bro check this out he, he, he said bro if i ate something like that he said man that shit would take me three or four weeks to get off of me like I, i'd get fat off of that and i said check this out bro i said hear me out and you you know this and i'm telling him like you know this i've been working out consistently since i was 13 years old 13 i'm 27 like, I've been working out consistently. Like, I'm talking about, like, man, from the age of 13 to, like, 21, 22, 13 to 22. Like, I don't know if I missed, like, a week 
of workouts in like a, in like a, a year span. I worked out so much that like when I got bored, like I would go, like some days I worked out two days, two times a day, three times a day. And people were telling me, bro, that shit ain't healthy for you. That working out shit ain't healthy for you. I'm just asking them like, how was working out not healthy for you? Bro, you working out too much, bro. I'm just like, okay. So, so I've been trying to tell them I'm 27 now. And there's times, there, there's times I'll go like a month without working out or you know what I'm saying? Something like that. But I'm still working out consistently. No, you're not going to get a cheap turnover out of me. <laughs> not happening. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's sometimes I, you know what I'm saying? I'll take a, a week or two or three off. Then I'll get back in the gym for two or three or four weeks consistently. You know what I'm saying? But I be trying to tell them, like, listen. I was, I, I done this shit consistently. I am, I am on year... I am on year, you know what I'm saying, 14 of working out like this. So if I have a bad meal here and there, if I have 10 cupcakes a day or some shit, which is, uh, never happened, but if I, you know what I'm saying, decide to spaz out on food one day or something, it's not going to change nothing. That shit ain't going to change nothing, bro. Like, I've I done this consistently to, like, i built up my body enough to where like I, I feel like honestly I could take six months off from working out and still and still be in great shape I can take off six months and I won't gain a, a, a centimeter I didn't say centimeter but I won't gain an inch of fat and then I can jump back in the gym and get back right back where I was consistently I've done it before you know what I'm saying I'll, I'll 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 go in there and bench 470 pounds. Won't go to the gym for two months straight. Get back in the gym, bench 405. Then the next couple of days 415. The next couple of days 425, and I'll build myself back up real quick. They'll be like, "Yo, bro, like you just you ain't you ain't worked out in two months." Like, bro, I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? I I built myself up already. Like this is you know what I'm saying? I don't know what y'all was doing in high school or, or whatnot, but I played college football for five years. I took high school serious. When I was working out, y'all niggas wasn't in the gym. You know what I'm saying? So it be people that it be people that like, yeah, they played college football, but they didn't take working out as serious as I did. I was really like, even in college, when I didn't have to work out, I was going to the gym and working out. You know what I'm saying? Like on the weekends, I get bored or some shit. Man, I'm going to the, what y'all doing? Shit, shit, all right, I'll catch y'all. I'm going to the gym. You know what I'm saying? So and, and that's just instilled in me. So when I work out today, I'm 27 years old now. When I work out today, I work out as if I'm still trying to play college football. Like, like, what is it? Like? About, about a month or two ago, I went and I benched 470 pounds. They're like, yo, bro, what are you doing? Like, why, are you trying to compete or something? Are you trying to, like, you, you trying to compete for a, a challenge or something? What are you doing? This is, this is how I work out. You know what I'm saying? I work out hard every single time I work out. So it's like, when I do take breaks, it's like okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't nothing. No, it ain't no big deal that you're taking a break. Cause whenever you do work out, you really grind that shit. So I'm here to tell y'all, man. If y'all really want to like get in shape or whatnot, you gotta take it serious. You gotta grind it. You can't go in there and be like, man, I'm gonna work out for. I'm gonna work out for for two weeks, and if I don't see no results, I'm done with this shit. Like, like what? So you, so you mean to tell me? You mean to tell me if you if you've never taken working out serious, never, never in your life taken working out serious, you want to go to the gym for two weeks. You're you're 27 years old. You've never for for you've never taken working out serious at all. But you want to go in there for two weeks and see instant results. That don't make sense. It don't. My cousin's like, bro, I'm gonna get this shit 30 days, bro. If I don't see if I don't. If I don't if the shit ain't working in 30 days, I, I gotta I gotta get back to what I'm doing in life. Okay, you're gonna just get back to being fat. Okay, cool. That's what you're pretty much telling me. Oh, let me get that. Mm, good ball. All right, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he I, I went over to his crib. Um, he said he wanted to lose like 15, 20 pounds. And it's it's honest, it's fat weight. It's not muscle weight, it's fat weight. So um what I told him is, you know what I'm saying? I went over to his house. I even, I went to Walmart 
Got everything he needed, vegetables, fruits, all that shit. And I meal prepped for him. Um, bought him a blender for his smoothies and everything. And I pretty much told him, listen, this is what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? Get on the, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to go in there and bench 500. Go in there and get on the treadmill. Walk for, you know what I'm saying, 30 minutes. Go get you a good workout in for, you know what I'm saying, 30 minutes. Every single day, Monday through Friday. That's your schedule. You know what I'm saying? That's what I told him. That is your schedule, Monday through Friday. You know what I'm saying? I put him on a meal prep. I put him on smoothies and whatnot to, you know what I'm saying, to to get right when you get hungry or whatnot. Don't go and fix no big-ass meal. Oh, I was not paying attention to that. Oh, nice post. Nice post. Like, when you get hungry, don't go in there and get you no, you know what I'm saying, no, don't, don't order no pizza or nothing. You get hungry, go eat you some fruit, drink you a smoothie, you know what I'm saying, and... Yeah, eat twice a day. I, I got him, uh, I got him, what did I get him? Chicken. I got him uh, boneless chicken breast. And I got him broccoli, um, zucchini, onions, bell peppers, mushrooms. Um, I got him something, something, and something else. I can't, I can't think right now. But you, you. You uh, pretty much steam the steam the vegetables, um, bake the chicken, and you know what I'm saying. Eat two times a day, and I said he was like, "Bro, I don't know if I'm gonna like this." I said, "This is what you do: you cut up the, the the chicken into shreds, pretty much, and then you cut up the vegetables too, and then you mix it up. You know what I'm saying? You put hot sauce on it, and you'll eat it like it's a salad, pretty much, like a like a like a chicken salad, pretty much." And he been doing that. He been doing real good with it. You know what I'm saying? It, it probably ain't going to be the best. But you, and I ain't saying you can't put no ranch on it. Ranch is bad for you. But you put some hot sauce on it and you'll be, you feel me? You'll be good to go. And he did that. And, and he's chilling. You know what I'm saying? And he's been working out every single day. And he's he, he lost a couple. You know what I'm saying? He, he's feeling, man, I'm feeling good right now, man. I, I appreciate this because I needed this. I appreciate this. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Once you start doing that, it's all about consistency. You start doing that consistent, you'll start seeing the results. It might not be no month. You know what I'm saying? You do that for three, four months straight. You have a better lifestyle. You'll start seeing all type of changes. Dude, just blessing one person. Crazy man is blessing one person. And I could have threw my crosser, honestly, but we going to chill on that. We gonna, I don't even want him to know that that's a read. I don't even want him to know that that's a read. But I was trying to tell him, listen, I've been working out since I'm 13. If I want to if I want to take some time off from the gym, bro, listen, I can do that. Because I know for a fact, I know for a fact, I'm going to be straight. There ain't a day that I looked in the mirror and said, damn. I don't like, you feel me? I'm fat. I don't look in the mirror and be like, okay, I got to get my shit together. I got to get my shit back together. You know what I'm saying? When I look at myself like that, I look at myself, what in the hell? Low pass and accurate? I look at myself like that sometimes because, you know what I'm saying? I I, I can look at myself about, okay, I looked like this in college, but I got to understand when in college, was I was at my peak. I was at my very best. Like, College was my very, very best. So sometimes I'll look at it and be like, man, I got to get my shit. I got to get my shit together. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get your feet down. You know what I'm saying? But that's, I, got, I also got to understand, I was like, it was more than just working out. It was going to practice too, like practice for two hours. So that's where my cardio was coming from. I barely, rarely do cardio now. I'll go to the gym and I'll get on the treadmill and I'll do like a, you know what I'm saying? Like a like a like a warm up or whatnot, a walk and warm up. But it's rare that I get in there and I just do straight up cardio. I don't go in and do no hour cardio sessions. I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like that's like that ain't what I'm. That ain't what I'm. Nah, I'm not going and doing no hour cardio session. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not like I'm trying to just. It's not like I'm just trying to lose. Block him, cub. Block him, cub. Not like I'm just out here trying to just lose hella weight or whatnot. All I'm trying to do is, you know what I'm saying, keep my keep my body in shape and whatnot and stay consistent. And You know what I'm saying? So I don't go in and do no hella cardio. Now, if you need to lose weight or whatnot, then okay, cool. 
hill of cardio might be what you need to be trying to do. There's no way challenge. If I get stopped right here, this is probably be game over. If I get stopped right here, it's man to man. Come on, hike it, hike it, hike it. Perfect. Let's fucking go. Why would you? Why would you switch it up? Why would you? I don't know. Why would you? Why would you switch it up? It wasn't even man to man. It was cover three. Damn. I thought it was man to man, but he had no flat player. So I don't know. Another thing, man, um, people always look at me and be like, yo, bro, how do you train your dogs so good? Why are your dogs so good? Your dogs are just amazing. Your dogs just listen to everything you tell them to do. And like, why don't my dog do that? I said, man, do you put in the time? I mean, and there be people who dogs is chained up outside and they take them off the chain and walk them and hey, sit. Why ain't you sitting? Hey, do this, do that. Why ain't you doing that? Like, man, you, you don't have, you don't. <laughs> You don't put in the time. You put in time for what you want. You know what I'm saying? I put in the time for my dogs. Oh, my God. He's wide open. I'm glad he didn't run the route that I thought he was going to run. But I'm like, bro, I put in the time for my dogs. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had the same 24 hours in a day. You know what I'm saying? You might work, you know what I'm saying, consistently or whatnot. You might got a hard-ass job and whatnot, but... If you put in the time, I promise your dogs will listen if, the way you want them to listen. I put in so much time, and, and my dogs still don't listen sometimes. So I know if, and I know if people ain't putting in half the work I put in on my dogs because I, I work from home. Some days, I go two or three days when I'm not working out. I go two or three days without even leaving my house. You know what I'm saying? Like some, like my, I ain't moving my car in two days. My car has not moved in two days. I have not left my house in two full days. Two full days I have not left my house. Good shit. Two full days I have not left my house. You know what I'm saying? All I do, I work from home, record my videos, edit my videos out. Dogs. You know what I'm saying? That's my life. Record, edit, dogs. Record, edit, dogs. Record, edit, dogs. That shit is crazy. But I like that, though. I like that because it's so hard to get a stop on this game. It's so hard to get a stop. And I got 26 seconds and a timeout. I feel like I can make some shit shake with that much time left. He's going for two. Smart guy, man. Smart guy. You got fucking Colin Murray. Smart guy. Go for two, man. Smart guy. A run right there is not smart. What? Come on, man. You did not just... You did not just run the ball. You got Colin Murray with a skate artist, and you decided to just run it with a running back? What? I would like for y'all to do me a favor, man. If you guys... I had somebody ask me, yo, why don't you create a dog... In, or like, why don't you create a dog YouTube... Like you should create something for your dogs. Uh, like I do have an Instagram for my dogs. Uh, it's called Rain Game Kennels. Just go over to my. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram already, you should. Get out of bounds! 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 We got out of bounds. Perfect. Don't gotta use my timeout. Um, my Instagram, my dog Instagram is Rain Game Kennels, or you can go to my Instagram and go to my bio. You guys will see it in my bio. Rain Game Kennels. Um, drop a like. Oh, I didn't need to take a sack there. Fuck. Took too much time off the clock, too. It killed me. He only blitzed one person right there. That kind of hurt. Because I wanted to get a field goal. And now I feel like I ain't going to get a field goal. So. This is tough. Um, We'll see though. We might can make something shake. We might can make something shake right here with this. These double crossers. Mm. 
Nope. Nope, 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 nope. All right, we'll take it to... We'll take it to the half, man. We don't want to do nothing too crazy. I almost threw a pick right there. We'll take it to the half. We will take it to the half, man. If I could have got outside right there, ain't nobody catching 96 speed. But man, everybody got the same 24 hours in the day, man. I was think I was thinking the other day. Check this out. And I was thinking about making a post about it on Instagram um, and Snapchat. Cause I seen I seen uh I seen uh, like th th these two groups in Charlotte beefing, and it's like it's not even like no like no tough guy stuff. It's like two promoting party groups, whatever. Two groups that promote in clubs or whatnot, and uh, they like beefing because like I don't know. They like I guess they mess with the same girls or whatnot, so they're beefing about the girls or whatnot, and um. And like they going back and forth with each other on Instagram, like back and forth. They not tagging each other, but they sneak dissing each other with such and such, and you mess with such and such, and I've been had her since. I'm like, yo, and, and these these people is 27, 28, 30 years old, and I'm just like, holy shit, you feel me? I'm just like, damn, and uh. And I was thinking about it, I said, it's, I said to myself, I said, there's only 24 hours in a day. How do y'all have time? How are y'all finding time? Oh, let me get that Jimmy Ward. Come on, Jimmy. I said, how are y'all finding time to beef? All this money out here. And that's what I spend my time on. That's what... That's what I'm spending my time on. Trying to, you know what I'm saying? All my 24 hours in a day go to some way, somehow, trying to make some money. Like, even when I'm training my dogs, I'm knowing eventually, you know what I'm saying, my dogs are going to sell. And people people buying dogs based on their pet and whatnot, their pedigree and, you know what I'm saying, their temperament and how they act and stuff. Yo, this game is so fucking crazy. Like, where did he come from? Why is he wide open like that? Where did he come from? Why is he so wide open? People people are buying dogs based on their temperament. Temperament is pretty much, you know what I'm saying, how they act. You know, so I'm training my dogs to be calm and whatnot. So even when I'm doing that, I'm still, you know what I'm saying, trying to make money. And I was sitting there saying, how do y'all find time in y'all's day to sit here and beef with one another? Fumble, fumble. How do y'all find time all day to have real beef? I don't understand it. That's something I don't I don't understand it. Y'all really out here beefing. Man, y'all don't go and get y'all some money, dog. Thank you for fumbling, but you're out of it. It's out of bounds. We don't we want that ball to sit on that sideline so I can go and scoop that thing up real quick. Here comes the post. That's what he scored on me on the post. Go get him. Thank you. Like, it takes... Jesus, man. It just, it's a safety. I know Kyler Murray got to be tired. He ran the last three times. Like, come on, bro. Don't do me like this. Man, listen here, dog. Did y'all see I got a hard flat over there? Listen here, dog. Like, come, come on. Yo, what what, what more I got to put y'all in for y'all to play some fucking defense, dog? Like, holy shit. That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. This shit's crazy, bro. Like, I, I got hard flats out there. He throwing it to the hard flat. Like, what the hell? You feel me? Like, what is going on? I have a hard flat over there. And I'm... Man, listen here, dog. I had a hard flat. I had a spy. 
and I had him playing at the sticks, which is going to be the goal line. So he's playing at the goal line. How do you outrun me if you're supposed to be at the hard flat on this goal line? Like how? Y'all know how you say if you put the if you put your flats on zero, they'll play like the hard flat. That's what the sticks is right there. That it the sticks is zero. The, that that the. How do I explain it better? You can't. Like that is crazy. I'm gonna shoot this clock. Um, go down and score, and I'm going for two. And I'm going for two. Just gonna leave it at that, man. I might have just got too many yards right there, but I think that's kind of perfect. I think that's perfect. I think that's perfect. I'm telling you now, check this out. The reason I want to go for two is, let's say I kick my field goal. I'm leaving it up to a coin toss. It's going to be whoever get the ball first at halftime. I mean, at, at, at the end of regulation. And it, I would be leaving it up to a coin toss, literally. And I really don't want to do that. I don't I don't have the time to do that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'd rather just leave it up to me. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather just leave it up to me. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. I don't want to risk putting my defense out there because I know I can't. This shit is so hard to stop. And he know this shit's hard to stop. But the only thing is, is it, I only got one play to score. You know what I'm saying? From the two-yard line. But, I mean, I kind of got an idea of what I want to run because I kind of got an idea of what he's going to come out in on the two. So, it's just a matter of is it going to work or not. I'm going to come out in trips. He's going to come out in, in cover four, three, four, cover four, and bases line so everybody's inside, and I want to throw the RPO. I do. I want to throw the RPO, but last time I threw the RPO, you got to – Debo, Debo, bro, you're my star. Okay, maybe I'm talking to uh, ahead of myself now because – Is this blitz? Hike it, bro. Fuck it. Thank you, Debo. I don't want to score. I probably could have scored. I don't want to score. But th I knew it was the blitz coming. Just had to make a read. Thank you, Debo, for catching the damn ball, bro. That's all I ask of you. That's all I'm asking of you, man. Fuck. Come on, Debo. Carolina, bro. Don't do me like that now. Get my dog now. Come on. I could have scored right there. Don't want to. You feel me? Don't want to score just yet. Don't even want to get a first down right here. I want to take this like fourth down, honestly. But see, here he is in his defense. I can throw the RPO right now to Brandon Ayuk. I know I can, but perfect. Perfect. I didn't want to. You feel me? Got him. What I tell you gonna be in three, four, couple. I know, I know this dude. I know this dude. I don't want to like show him the RPO yet because I want to use it as a two point play. But <sighs> bam! Now he got to use his timeouts. Now he got to use his timeouts. Holy shit! Ho, ho! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I thought when it, the clock went down like that, under two minutes, I could hike the ball fast. Whoa. Whoa. Shit. All right, man. Bam, I like that. Now, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Hey, if I lose, if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. But I see he's playing the RPO. Which means if you play the RPO, that means you can't be playing the run. You can't play both. I'm passing the ball. Fuck this. Change of plans. Rain run the ball. <laughs> I done ran the ball all the way. That was a bad read. I really wanted to throw it to... 
Let me let me let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Do y'all know current gen when um on current gen the tight end would have ran straight to the back of the end zone and ran right along the back of the end zone on the corner route. I'm gonna show y'all the route that I'm gonna show y'all the route that uh Kittle did. He didn't even run a corner route, bro. He didn't run nothing of a corner route. I'm gonna show y'all the route that Kittle ran. Oh, that's a touchdown. Oh, that's a touchdown. And he over imagine if that imagine if he needed to catch that to win the game. He'd be sick. I'm not mad about this loss right now. But um the route running on this game, man, I swear to God, my 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 dog can run this this route run. My dog can run these routes. Look at this route by Kittle. Now, on current gen, he's gonna run straight up the field. He's gonna run right here and run right along the back of the end zone. Watch this route. He's he's open. He's open. But what, what what scared me is that he ran it right there. That's what scared me. That's what scared me that he ran it right there. I wanted him to be deeper. And I seen this dude right here. I seen Hicks running with it, and I automatically took my eyes off of it. But if I keep looking at it, he's open. And, and you know what got me? When I looked right here, I seen Hicks running with this, and then I looked at his user. I said, okay, what his user going to do, he's going to come back and guard one of these. So that's why I threw it to him. And Hicks stopped right there. Look at Hicks. I'm thinking Hicks is going to run with that route. And by the time I throw it, he stops. And I got Kittle wide open in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. But it's it, it's because these zones don't play what they usually play. So he's, he's running with that, and then he stops. I'm like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the easy read. Now, now. The reason I threw this ball, check me out. Check me out. If Hicks go and continue to run with that, like I think he's going to do, if the, the user stops and come back and play this, like I think he's going to do, if Hicks is over here and he's here, that is a great read right there. That's a great read. But Hicks don't go and play that, and he stops, and voila, intercepted. Now I feel like I could have like I feel like I could have threw this right here. But look at this, look at this shit right here though. This dude right here is in a hard flat. This guy right here. This guy's in a hard flat. So he should stay right here. He should stay right here in this hard flat. Look what he does. He goes and guards that route all the way in like that. Which is crazy. They should not be doing that shit. They shouldn't. But that's my read. Kittle's my read. Kittle is my read, man. I seen that right there. I seen him running with that. I said, okay, cool. Bet. And then, I, then I looked at his user. I took my eyes. From, ugh, I took my eyes from him, from Hicks, to right here to his user. Bam. And Hicks squared up. And my read is Kittle in the back of the fucking end zone. Wide open for a touchdown. Chilling. Ah, not mad about it though. Not mad. I left it up to me. I put it in my hands, and we lost. Can't be mad at it, man. Um, check this dude's record: two sixteen and one fifty five. Um, I'm forty and six. Before that, I hadn't lost in a. I mean, lost by one right there. Lost right here in overtime. He got the ball first. This this is why I did not want to leave overtime. Twenty one twenty one. Live it up to a coin toss. He got the ball first. Couldn't stop him. He wouldn't score in one. But before that, I was on like a 15-game win streak. But, man, that right there was definitely a GG. Thank you guys for watching the video. Catch you next time. Peace. Hey, Blair Wayne. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. Let's do this for daily sticky uploads. Follow me at YT Black Rain 4 on TikTok. 
for hoodies and t-shirts click the link down below in the description black rains bin that's where you get all your gear at for funny stories and motivational stories follow me on snapchat at black rain 4 and for the latest news on everything follow me on instagram at black rain 4 and last but not least if you want to play anybody in rain gang look down below in the description all the information is down there that you need you dig you dig you dig you dig